the first thing that happens when one of the dairy cows walks into the milk robot is when she goes to the front of the milk robot, we actually have two RFID readers. So we'll have one RFID reader here and then one closer to the feed bunk. That way, no matter where her head is at, what level she's at, it'll be able to pick her RFID up. So when it picks her RFID up, it'll actually tell you which cow she is. So we had 284 just walk in to the robot now. So the robot, actually what it's gonna do is it's gonna go ahead and kick her out because she's already been milked in the past six hours. So she's just here for an extra snack. How often do they do that? Uh, maybe two to three times a day. They come through and they don't actually get to be milked. So we're averaging, right now, we're averaging close to 3.8 milkings a day per cow. Which, especially on the Jerseys, the Jerseys tend to love it a lot more than the Holsteins do. The Holsteins are just a little lazy. But, so now we had 281 walk in. And the first thing that the robot will do when she walks in is it'll go ahead and it'll pre-disinfect her. So it'll go ahead and spray a blue disinfectant on her teeth. So now the robot has grabbed that teat cleaning cup and it's just going through the process of cleaning all four of her teeth off. So 281 is actually one of our few three-quarter cows. So it'll only do the three quarters that she actually is milking from. So we actually get to, in the computer system, we get to mark our cows that are three quarters as to which cow the robot doesn't milk and the robot will not milk that quarter. So once it's done washing her teeth, what it'll do is it'll attach all the teeth cups onto her. So on average, a cow is only in here for about three to four minutes for the whole entire process. The majority of that will be her actually letting that milk go and being milked. So once she's done milking, she'll go out the front gate and we have a sort gate right outside that front gate. So that'll allow the Jerseys will exit to the left and the Holsteins will exit to the right. So that'll allow those cows to return to their separate pins. So now the robot is milking 281. It's got all three of her teat cups attached. And we can go back to the screen and see how all three are lit up blue. So what it's telling us is out of her back left quarter, she's giving 3.57 pounds a minute. So we can see that right now she's gave 2.5 pounds out of the 13.5 pounds she's expected to give out of that single quarter. So on the robot, we're actually allowed to monitor each individual quarter on the cow versus just how much they produce total. So here in the bottom right, we actually have her total pounds produced right now versus the total pounds that she's expected to give for this single milking. So since 281 is expected to give 34.1 pounds, you can assume she's somewhere between that 70 to 75 pounds a day milk range, but there's no way of actually knowing that on this screen without going to our computer system that actually tells us how many times that cow comes in the robot a day. So what this 34.1 average is actually a seven day average for that cow because sometimes we know a cow may visit twice a day, sometimes she may visit four times a day.
So that just gives us kind of a ballpark on what she's supposed to be giving per milking. So right now, as she's in the robot, what she gets is actually a pellet. So that's kind of a treat to keep those cows wanting to come back for more. And we actually get to monitor how much feed that cow is actually consuming per robot visit. So some cows will definitely eat more than others, but it allows us to record that information on the computer. And we can see when those cows, the exact time and date that she's dropped off on feed or dropped off on milk production. And that'll allow us to look at the herd health report on the computer and it'll actually tell us, hey, you need to really go look at those cows because there's probably something off about her. So when it comes to training a cow to go in the robot for the first time, it typically takes a fresh two-year-old heifer that has only been milking for about a week and she hardly has any parlor experience it typically takes her six to seven days before she's actually fully going into the robot and through those finger gates on her own. So it's actually pretty surprising that the cows have the most difficult learning that they can push those finger gates to go through versus actually coming into the robot itself. So once we actually get them to come into the robot, they like the idea of being fed and it's a lot quieter milking environment a lot less stressful milking environment than it is in the actual milking parlor. So it really does those fresh two-year-old heifers that are still learning to be around cows that are older than them to get a sense of coming to the parlor is a good thing to do. So a lot of our older Jersey cows, it might take one to two days and she's going through on her own like a carousel. So it really depends on the cow and some won't. We have had one or two Holstein heifers that absolutely will not want to come in the robot. So they get to go to the other side of the freestyle barn and get milked in the conventional parlor. So we've had one completely try to destroy the arm every time it went under her because it, it just freaked her out so much. There's always a Holstein. Typically, yeah. So our robot milks our entire Jersey herd and all of our first lactation Holstein cows. So on the east side of the barn we house our Jersey cows and on the west side we house our Holstein cows. So this little pin in between is what we call the commitment pin. So all that means is once a cow pushes through these finger gates they can't push back and come back out. The only way for the cows to leave the commitment pin is to go through the robot. So that really allows us to train those new cows and if we have cows that are later in lactation that just don't want to visit the robot as much, we can push them in this pen and in 10, 20 minutes they'll eventually meander into the robot on their own. So when we first start training cows, what we typically do is we'll set a couple of them up understand that there's a gap here and the ribs will start pushing them and then once we do that for the first couple of days we'll go every other and then that teaches them to put their heads between and go ahead and push themselves on through to get to the commitment pin so we also have finger gates on each of our return lanes that keeps the cows from going in backwards and us getting into a real traffic jam as cows try to exit the robot. So we have 143 in the robot right now and she's a two-year-old Holstein cow. So in our computer system we get to assign cows to pens and this is our deal of all sorting gate and what it just did as we had a jersey come out earlier, so what it did is it swapped these two gates around based off of that RFID tag that it reads when she walks in. And it's, it tells that robot that, hey, that's 143, she's a Holstein, so she needs to go out that side. It'd be the right side coming out of the robot. So it'll sort 143 out this way, and the gate will stay like this until we get a jersey cow to come through. Once a Jersey comes through, it'll go ahead and re-swap those gates and it'll send the Jersey cows out the left side, out back to the Jersey pin. 
and she's just eating, not in a hurry to leave. Yeah, it's it'd be too big for a lot of our older Holstein cows, but 